care of herself. Making it. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? What's that? Get you as close as I can. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner, and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now, the new Duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district, but was once prosperous. No, in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stilton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. you reach the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with the skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale at the pitch. Soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the Howlers used. Then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant one cousins or something. Or bomb or pair, so the... Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. That won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Burr. And I don't see you or me beating a pad to the crone's hand, or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. Blood Ox stew tonight. You're starving. Can I read? Of course I can read. Does he think I'm stupid? And all my letters and then some. So 
Something's gotta give. Someone there! What? There's not something bad. Who's there? This shirt reeks. They gotta get a spare you. It's <clears throat> stuck out here. <clears throat> Tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ears. Nice. Grand Palace. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. <clears throat> Missing monster, huh? I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes, 
I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. to linger, linger past, past your, your time, time in the, in the world. world. It's not like that. Mindy says he's carrying some old lady's hand again this week. Which, dead dogs age ago. Maybe before we were born. This must be Paolo's place. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circanos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South?
sister says you can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this, but what... Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. Get the cigars tomorrow. Want to buy one? We're playing dice tonight. You... Did it. Now to find Aramis Stilton. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the empire I'd someday rule. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne and my father, a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, my mother's murder, and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's life and get my father back. This house holds Delilah's secrets. She pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't stop her breath. I'm going to find out how she did these things. The next time someone shoves a sword through her heart, it'll be me and I expect her to die. 